they're activated, and then you have a cascade of, of, uh, of molecules that are activated, and they, they result in the activation of different functions. Our immune systems work hard to fight off illnesses like chronic infections, but eventually those cells become exhausted and lose their effectiveness. And that burnout matters, because it's one of the reasons why immunotherapy can become less effective. But researchers in the Montreal area now believe they've found a piece of the puzzle, a molecule that helps immune cells stay energized longer. T cells they are um, they are elicited and stimulated all the time and the problem is that they they keep fighting and then they become exhausted when your body fights off an infection it sends special white blood cells called T cells to help these cells don't last forever but researchers have found they wear out faster if they don't have enough of a molecule called IRF5 a research team from Quebec's National Institute for Scientific Research led by professor Simona Stager says IRF5 might help T cells stay stronger during long-lasting infections. Uh, RF5, we didn't know what it was doing, and then we, we, we saw that it's regulating the metabolism uh, of the cells. It was a result that was uncovered by one of Stager's students, showing that IRF5 helps protect the immune cell's metabolism, keeping the cells energized so that they can keep fighting infections. Uh, when she, she showed me the results, we, we, really, we were really astonished. And then I said, you were right. Sometimes students are, are, are better than, than the PIs. <laughs> Researchers used mice bred with and without IRF5 and exposed them to a chronic virus. They found that T cells that were missing the molecule became more exhausted than those without. They also discovered that the cell's metabolism was weaker, making it harder for them to stay alive. The metabolism of the cell is also very important uh, because it's, it's, uh, it's failing and the, the mitochondria, these organelles that are important for, for energy production, uh, are also uh, being dysfunctional. Stager says the next step is seeing what IRF5 does when it's modified. She says if researchers find a way to enhance its effects, it could open the door to new ways of improving the stamina of our immune cells, making it easier to treat long-term infections and even different cancers. What we would like to do is to try to modulate the, its expression to be able to, to probably uh, slow down even more this, this process of exhaustion. In Montreal, Zachary Chung, City News.